Well, hey guys, welcome. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing my updated version of Tape Delay Beat Repeat, which I'm now calling Tape Delay Beat Skip. And I've updated it for the newest version of Logic Pro 10.3, um, which has the updated Tape Delay plugin. So the newer version of Tape Delay of the Tape Delay plugin has a slightly different GUI compared to the older version, and there's some other slight differences to it. So I'll get to those. And I'm now offering this for sale, and I'm also offering for sale the FX Glitcher environment device, which I have some videos on that. Um, so there's going to be in some info on how you can get both the, the FX Glitcher and this, the Tape Delay Beat Skip. Uh, that info is in the description below. And I've been meaning to do this for a while after hearing from many of you that have wanted to purchase this and I finally had the time to get around to it. So I would also suggest watching the tape delay beat repeat video, the older one, because the older version and the newer versions are pretty much uh, 95 to 98 percent the same. So I'm going to go over the slight differences between the two and I'm going to try to explain in this newer v video in this newer version, I'm going to explain things in, slight, in a slightly different way, hopefully to answer some questions I've received about how things get connected and how it's set up. The Tape Delay Beat Skip, it's not an audio plugin. It's not a MIDI plugin. What it is, it is a device that I've created using Logic's environment, which takes MIDI input from a MIDI controller or a MIDI region's playback and transforms or converts that information into a form that can be read by a software instrument or an audio track or a bus. And that MIDI, tr MIDI information is changing the plugin parameters. Uh, so you might ask, well, can I do this with controller assignments or with smart controls? Yes, some of it. But I am also utilizing MIDI note on and note off messages, okay, again, from either my MIDI keyboard playing MIDI notes or an already recorded MIDI track like here okay and that is going to turn on and off the different parameters of the plugins so this opens up more options than like smart controls or the MIDI assignments could provide or do so when you purchase the uh, beat skip it comes in a logic project format and so you just open that up and the beat skip is already connected and ready to go so all you really need to do is just press play um, or if you want to use the beat skip in real time or if you want to record in real time to a MIDI region you're beat skipping then you'll need a MIDI controller uh, but you can see here that uh, here is uh, the basic beat so what we're going to be doing is the beat skip device is going to be affecting this ultra beat instrument here called low down dub so the beat skip is connected to that already so I can just press play and you'll hear the unal un unaltered beat okay and then as I move forward you can see I have simple skipping here Okay, and moving forward, I have some different examples that uh, show you other things that the beat skip can do, and so I'll get more into that in this video. Okay, so the beat skip device needs to reside somewhere in a MIDI environment layer. So here I have it. It's right here. It's ready to go. As I said, when you open it up, everything's connected and ready to go. I'm just going to open this up. I'm going to kind of show you what it looks like in the layer. So I'm going to go and I'm going to uncheck protect positions and hide cables and I'm going to and I'm right clicking here in that window and I'm going to uncheck frameless floating window. So this is kind of what the environment looks like when you open it up. You can see over here that it has its own layer and this device will can go in any layer and it will work the same as long as it's connected properly so you could put it in the mixer layer you could put it in MIDI instrument layer but I chose to create uh, uh, its own layer which makes it easy for you to import it into your logic template so you would open up your logic template and you go to options import layer and you'd select layer and then you can open up you can add this layer in um, 
into your into your template so you can use it in your project so how do I how did I set this up <clears throat> excuse me so you need an input that's connected to the beat skip and then you need the beat skip to be connected to an output so the input is going to be a channel strip which is this right here and the output is going to go to the low down dub which is my um, ultra beat software instrument channel strip that drum beat you heard so the easiest so I showed you one way how to do this in the previous tape delay beat repeat video using the MIDI through tool and I'm going to show you a different way in this video so what you want to do is is you're going to go here you're gonna plus press plus you're gonna say external MIDI and on the output you can just say off and number of tracks one and say create and it's basically just gonna create a generic you know track and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click on that track and you are going to say reassign track to tape delay beat skip and there you go and there you have it okay so that's connecting the input wanted to show you one thing you need to keep in mind when you're setting the input of this or assigning the tape delay beat skip to a channel strip is um, that you want to make sure that in your environment layer that the beat that the beat skip is has assignable checked otherwise when you go to you know how I said right click reassign track if it's not on assignable this will not show up so just make sure that assignable is checked